Good morning everyone. So this is daily routine with having three dogs. I have to go drop off the girls right now, but I'm gonna let one of them come with me. Today's gonna be Lincoln and I alternate between the three whenever I drop off the girls so that they can have a little, a little new something in the beginning. And uh, right now they're sleeping outside. It's been a lot fresher outside than inside. We don't have AC, unfortunately, just like the window ones, but they enjoy it better anyway. So I'm gonna let uh, Lincoln in and we're gonna go drop off the girls. That's for this morning. It is 8.30. Good morning. All right, so we're gonna take Lincoln and Misty, same here. We just got back home. I'm dealing with two school-age girls and a little puppy, probably an adolescent already. There was a little bit of a mishap in the morning. Uh, the girls had left the door open. Lincoln had gotten out because he was just like wanting to be with them. But I got out of the car quickly, handled the situation, and brought him back inside. So it was okay. But things don't always go as scheduled or as planned. It's actually pretty late right now. It's nine and they need to eat i was running a little bit late this morning um didn't have a chance to feed the animals so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then they're gonna go and play outside for about an hour while i do my workout and then i'll check back in after that oh and if you're interested to know what i feed them you can go ahead and check the cards i'll have it linked you can guys be good okay I don't know if you guys can see very well, but somehow they got into our camping gear and well, there goes our sleeping bag. I don't want to go outside right now because just look at them, sleeping, chilling. Hey Nixie. Living the life? Yeah. All right, guys, just got done with my workout. I'm gonna go get two of them ready to go walking. I'm reheating up some beans, make myself some tea. Now, this is just an ideal daily routine. It's not always that I'm gonna have a chance to take them out. When I do, normally it's about one to two miles, just depending. And it is 10.08. So I'm gonna tidy up a little bit here and then I'm gonna get them ready and then we're gonna hit up. Okay, just got done tidying up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the dogs. I also got this little pouch thing. It has like a belt and I can tie it around my waist. So I'm gonna do a little bit of some training too on the walk. It's 10.45. Lincoln's getting super jealous right now and he keeps barking. Um, we're here, ready to go. And I don't think I would be able to record our walks and training. I'm gonna try. We just got home from our walk. We did about a mile, mile and a half, and a little bit of a mini training session in the beginning and during the walks as well. So now I'm gonna go get Lincoln and we're gonna go on our second walk. We're just back from the walk. Here. And I found a dollar and 75 cents on the ground. I'm gonna let them play outside for a little bit while I do some work and then I'll let them back in in about an hour or so just so that they can hang out in here with me and they'll just be sleeping for the majority of the time. Okay, so ideally I would like to take all three of them on a walk together because they'd be able to get in a lot more miles in for the same amount of time but Lincoln is not ready yet he's not where I would like him to be he follows too much and since my Doberman is super hyper and active he gets kind of crazy and then makes everyone else get crazy so it's 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 a mess it is 
12 and I'm going to start on some work. Misty's in here for now. The other two will be playing outside and then I'll switch them and then they'll all be in together at some point. So it's 2.30. I let them in about a half hour ago and this is them just sleeping, living the life, living the dream. Okay, so it is three o'clock and I'm gonna go ahead and do a little mini training session they're still being a little lazy butts and so I'm gonna separate them do it just one one at a time because there's a lot of competition that comes with having multiple dogs it's just easier to do it one at a time and build on that they're still not at that level where they can listen when they're all together slowly but surely we'll We'll get there. Okay, so I'm gonna go take two of them out and start the training. Here's Misty, she escaped, she jumped the fence, and she was patiently waiting outside the door. It was open, so she was able to hear. She just gets super excited when she, when it's training time. She's like, oh, I wanna be next, I wanna be first, I wanna be with you forever. So yeah, now it's her turn for training. I have the dogs inside. They are sleeping right now. Misty and Lincoln inside. I have Nixie outside for her alone time. Just alternate between all of that and between those three so that they all have their own time and then time together and then time with me as well. As you can tell, owning a dog is a big responsibility. It's equivalent to having a child. And for this daily routine, it may not seem like much, but it's the little things that you do in between that counts. Like the house training, manners, where I reward the behavior that I like and uh, make sure that I don't reward behavior that I don't like. So anytime that we have to go out to places like Home Depot or even to like Marshalls, Lumberyards, anywhere really. We take them out with us and we alternate. Even when I have to go drop off the girls at school, I take them with me. Just that in itself is something more that you could do, something more that 
we don't consider. Taking them out helps build their social skills and their confidence it's when meeting strangers or other dogs. So for me, having multiple dogs really helps because it's like consider being an only child and having siblings. You have more fun because they entertain each other. So me being a busy person with work, uh, being a mom, and having to take care of the household and all of that, it's actually more beneficial for me in my situation and my lifestyle. When we first had Nixie, I wanted to get her a uh, little brother or sister, and so we ended up with two more <laughs> after Nixie. But I love it. I actually think that it was a really good decision for us. Uh, other things that we do is training during feeding. We have to work for their foods. We put them to work whenever they're following us around. We just squeeze in a little sit, a little stay, a little lay downs here and there. While they're eating, we touch them, get them, you know, their paws, their face, get them used to and familiar with those kinds of sensations. Um, make sure to not let resource guarding become a problem. Whenever I'm working out in my garden I will alternate with one of them and that's new territory for them we have neighbor dogs our neighbor has a male Doberman and a female little poodle thing and uh, they're always just running back and forth playing with each other barking with each other and all that crazy stuff so they get to have some kind of interaction with the other dogs every day. They get a lot of exercise running in our backyard. We have a pretty spacious backyard for them to run around and we do let them out in the front as well. So we have the front and the back for them to play. And when everyone comes home, then they all get to interact with each other and then it's feeding time. Someone got in trouble for the sleeping bag mess. Was it you? Or was it you? No, it was Or was it Nixie? No, it was Nixie. I don't really like to leave the door open all day because then we get little flies coming in. So annoying. Don't sit on here and kiff her with his, with his bones, okay? Hey, Nixie. We haven't seen you. Yeah, my toys. You guys want to give them their toys? I want to give them this. Hey guys, it's already late. Uh, everyone's asleep. I have Misty inside. Nixie and Lincoln are outside. I'm gonna continue on working for a little bit and then I'm gonna call it a night. Bye.